Hello guys, welcome back to the part 2 of this tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be finalizing the head model by modeling the hair. So, we're going to select these two faces right here. And um, in this tutorial we're not going to be making the hair look so realistic like um, a, a normal hair should look. It's because it's a, this is a stylized character so we'll just give it the essential details just to make it look cool. Uh, look right let me put it that way if you want to model realistic here I would advise um, you use sculpting packages such as ZBrush or Modbox that's what I use for my stylized crack um realistic characters but for my stylized character I just go in and do whatever I want cartoon you'll be safe Okay, so just tweak the vertices. So now, um, we want to shape it like this. Okay, so. Now we need to create an edge loop to define the um, the helix. That's the outer part of the head. This is one that goes round like this. So to do that, we're going to use our create edge loop. So we just create it like this. Draw the edge loop, and we can scale it up this way. Then we we'll move it back. And now we need to adjust this part of the hair so now if we use our smooth preview we already have the hair but this is not what we want to go for we need something much more concrete than that so let's just move this okay so shift this like so okay so move this down so right now all we are just trying to do is get this true like have our hair shape and the back of the hair just move this in to define it more a lot more so this um, part need to bring it out so we can see it right from the front like this and this one let's take it in like this yep there's really nothing that um, special about this method it's just really really basic text select this values as well bring this in Okay, so the next thing to do is we need to extrude this part like in word. So what I'll do is I'll just use my split polygon tool. Okay, in the last tutorial I talked about um, creating, putting my favorite tools in the custom tab. To do that, all you have to do is just um, go to your edit mesh or whatever you want to add. Um, for in this tutorial, let me see what I don't have. Okay, I'll just use my um, Okay, I have my duplicate face. Let's use my um, the poke face. So all you have to do is hold shift and control, then middle mouse click, then middle click. Then now you have your tool right there. So that's how to add your favorite tool in the custom shelf. Um, so let's keep going. Um, select this. I'll use my split polygon tool, but I don't want to use this interactive split. So I just hold my shift, right click, go to split. Oh, sorry. Let's move to. Um, edge mode Let's select this okay so I might not get it right okay so in my object mode I just right click hold shift split a split polygon tool so I'll do this okay this is not gonna work because we don't want triangles in this model 
so what I'll suggest we do is uh, let me delete this photos I just created we we'll just select um, switch to our face extrude scale it in like so okay so now we can just push this in or what I'll suggest we do is uh, let's let's extrude this in like this yep so now let's look at our here let's preview it select it and press 3 okay so we're getting somewhere okay so this part I think we should bring this out a little more sorry about that select this okay so just move this I need to cover these tracks up like okay so now we have a helix and uh, we need to define our hair loop right here I'll move to my okay so I'll just select this but as I think there I'll just bring it out because this part is actually the lumpy parts the, the, the it's very very fatty okay just bring this in bring this out yeah something like this like this bring this up Let me bring this out. Okay, so to bring this out a little more, yeah, like this. Mm -hmm. So now I can go in and add one more edge loop, so we can pull something out of here to define. Uh, um. And to track us. Okay, so I'll just go to my search edge loop tool and just drag. So now we have a loop going around the face. So now what we're just trying to do is retain a quad mesh. We don't want triangles or end guns in this mesh. So I'll put this out just a little bit. this back like this so let's see what our hair looks like now it's looking okay but this part um, there's an error so we need to correct that part select this so what we want to do is um, to bring this down like this put this out Okay, so our mesh looks so ugly.
Okay, so look at our model now. It is so huge, <laughs> but we have a bear, so it's just a simple, simple, simple model. We don't have to go all out. So, um, but aside the ear, there are other things we need to like fix, like this part of the high. I need to bring this up a little more. So before we mirror it to the other side. He needs to close his mouth because when we're creating more target for him. And the nose, if you look at it, it's a... Um Try and smooth him now. So this is what it looks like. Smooth. Uh, as a model looks like when when it's smooth. So let me just go back. So we don't have too much polygons. Okay. Right now, I'll just select my model. Go to edit, delete by type, history. Because if we don't do that, we, we might have issues when trying to mirror. Let's tr let's just try and mirror it without deleting history. So now this is we're supposed to mirror on a X minus like this because I did that in the past one of this tutorial. So when I apply, so now it's just properly mirrored. But in some cases, let me just go back. In some cases, you see your model going to this side, and so all you have to do is just go to edit, delete by type history. So you can just go ahead and mirror your model. So make sure you have merge. With original selected and med 36 so that's close that then we have a model so now we can actually go ahead and smooth him bounce so he's not looking as bad as it looked before can just go ahead and adjust the vertices and make sure you have reflection horn when you want to do that and all that. so thank you guys for watching don't forget to comment and subscribe and uh, i'll see you in the next tutorial bye